I'm Joel, Director of Engineering and Technical Services here at Keystone Technologies. We care about the quality of our products, and specifically the safety, performance, and reliability. Take the corn cobs, for example. A fairly mature product, why not just buy the cheapest option? Well, if you look on the outside, between Keystone and a cheap alternative, you can see the heat sinks, for example. Heavier, sturdier, bigger, better at getting the heat out of the LEDs than thin stamped heat sinks. If you were to look inside, you'd also see a heftier driver, which also contains protection componentry, all sorts of things that account for not just the normal everyday use of the lamp, but fault conditions that need to be accounted for. Let me show you a demo that shows how our lamp performs against a cheaper alternative. So here we have a corn cob, which is gonna be a common replacement in a metal halide fixture. It's very easy to forget to bypass the ballast for that fixture. So if we turn the lamp on, we'll see that the lamp came on without issue. The wattage is slowly rising, and now it's rising a lot faster. Now we're up to 90 watts, and now the lamp has failed. But the installer has left the job site, so nobody's there to see the failure. And now we can observe that there is smoke coming out the back of the lamp. Without anybody to see the failure, we don't know if the heat that's being generated is going to propagate further and cause cascading failures. If you notice, the power is still running, but the lamp is not on anymore. And that means that that power is in the lamp's driver itself and that component could be heating up other components, causing progressively worse failures. Okay, now with the Keystone corn cob, the ballast is still there, and when we turn power on, we see that nothing happens. The installer immediately recognizes that there's a problem and is prompted to turn the power off and check the wiring. Keystone corn cobs have over voltage protection that actively monitors the incoming power. If the power is not appropriate for the lamp, it won't turn on. So the lamp didn't turn on with the ballast, which prompted the installer to come back, check the wiring, and notice that the ballast was improperly installed. I unwire the ballast and rewire it for the proper line voltage. We go back and try the lamp again, and after a brief pause, as it checks the input voltage, the lamp comes on normally, not damaged by the ballast miswire. Keystone recreates a number of fault conditions commonly found in the field, and we focus on safety, performance, and reliability in the evaluation and design of all of our products.